Hi everybody, Brian Janty down here in the Exmoor Golf Performance Center. I'm down here tonight because I want to just speak briefly to you about how to gain distance with your driver with not necessarily swinging the golf club any faster than you already do. I'd say that most of us would like to hit the golf ball a little bit further than what we do. We can only swing the golf club as fast as our body allows, so assuming we're swinging to our max, let's talk about a way to increase distance with our driver. And the way we do that is with an angle of attack, how much we swing down versus how much we swing up with a driver. Many of us already know that in order to get a golf ball up in the air, a golf ball that's on the ground up into the air is by hitting down on that golf ball. It's really the only way to do it with an iron or a golf ball that's not teed up. But with a driver, we have the benefit of teeing the driver up, which makes us, gives us a lot more potential to do a little bit more than just swing down on the golf ball. In fact, swinging up at the moment of impact as opposed to down is a much more efficient way to hit the golf ball further than you would by hitting down on it. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to hit two golf balls that I've teed up here, and we're going to utilize TrackMan, and we're going to hit one golf ball with a descending blow and one driver with an ascending blow, and we're going to look at the different results based on the swings that we have. So first I'm going to hit down on this driver. I'd expect this golf ball to launch pretty low when I do this. Okay, pretty low ball flight. This time, I'm going to try to swing up on the driver. Okay, much higher ball flight that time. So before we go look at the TrackMan data, I want to show you a quick drill that will teach you how to swing up on the driver and give you an idea if you're already doing it or not. Simply just take an empty sleeve of golf balls, tee up a golf ball, and what I want you to do with that empty sleeve is place that box about one driver's head width in front of the golf ball, just like this. And then simply just hit some drivers and see if you can miss the box. If you tend to hit the box on the way through, probably means that you're hitting down on it. If you can miss it, I would guarantee you that that means you're swinging up on the ball. So let's see how I do here. Okay, that was a pretty good drive. Box didn't move. I can guarantee you that that drive, I swung up on. So let's go take a look at the TrackMan data and compare the two drives that we just hit and see what results we got. Okay, we're over here on the TrackMan screen and we're gonna take a look at the two golf shots that I just hit. The first drive, my attack angle was minus one, so that means I was hitting down on the golf ball one degree. I swung the golf club at 108.5 miles an hour, so we'll call that about 109. And you can see my carry distance, the distance the golf ball traveled in the air was 255 yards with a total carry or total rollout distance of 274 yards. Take note of my spin rate, 3,200 RPM. That's a little bit higher than what we'd look for when doing a driver fitting. We'd prefer to be somewhere more in the mid 2000s. Okay, let's go to the second drive. Uh, first, let's take a look. Same club head speed, 109 miles an hour, but this time my attack angle was up 8.7 degrees. So in this drive, I caught the golf ball on the upswing. And we'll take a look at the carry distance. This time it was 268 yards with a total rollout of 298 yards. Spin rate prior was 3,200, and you can see how the spin rate is substantially down, almost 2,000 RPM from my uh, previous shot. Uh, this is a, has a big reason of why the golf ball traveled so much farther. So again, same club head speed, 25 yard distance difference between hitting down on the golf ball versus hitting up on it. So the TrackMan numbers uh, will tell you everything you need to know. Uh, this just completely reiterates the importance of how efficiently you can hit the golf ball a lot farther with an attack angle that's upward. If, uh, if you feel like you struggle with this or you'd like to find a little bit more distance, we invite you to come to our May 28th clinic down at the Exmoor Driving Range where we'll be discussing these topics. The clinic will meet from 1.30 until 3 o'clock and we hope to see all of you there. Thank you.